Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your match review on Manchester United versus Everton in the Premier League. It finished 2 0 to Manchester United at Old Trafford. I gotta say though, Jordan Pickford, I mean, Manchester United should have been out of sight, but Pickford was like an absolute tank. The amount of saves he's making was absolutely unbelievable he was keeping Everton in the game I mean first half Manchester United dominated I mean as he hit the post and Aaron Wan-Bissaka possibly with the easiest chance of the game puts it wide I couldn't believe it. I was like no how did you miss from that range but Aaron Wan-Bissaka is a defender instead of a forward so I will let that one slide but yeah I mean Scott McTominay, he scored a very good goal. Obviously, Anthony Marshall scored as well. He scored a simple tap-in, really. But the biggest worry for Manchester United is it looked like Marcus Rashford went off with a suspected groin injury, which that, if that's the case, that is terrible news because with Seville coming up in the Europa League, we need Marcus Rashford so, if he is injured, we need Luke Weghurst and Anthony Marshall to step it up massively. And obviously, the good thing is, Casemiro will be back on Thursday, as it's in the Europa League. And also, he'll be back against Nottingham Forest in the Premier League next weekend as well. Which, we need Casemiro back, man. I really missed him. But a big boost for us today is that... Christian Eriksen come on in the second half. I've missed Eriksen, man. Sabitz has done a decent job, but Eriksen's just absolutely quality. And Manchester United have really, really missed him. They really have. But the game itself, you know, Manchester United, I thought they played quite well. Defensively, I thought at times we were a bit open today. I mean, playing Maguire, starting Maguire, why? Why on earth did we start Harry Maguire? I know we have a lot of games coming up and that, but yeah, Maguire, maybe it should have been Lindelof and Martinez who played together. At times, Manchester United, when Maguire's playing, the play, play and the play is just so much slower, really is, which is so frustrating. But, yeah, I don't think he had a great game at all, Harry Maguire. He almost gifted Everton the goal. Yeah, not good enough. Simply not good enough. The sooner he gets out of Manchester United, the better. Yes, I know he won 2-0 and kept a clean sheet. That's great in that. But, I'm telling you now, Maguire is not good enough. Absolutely Captain of Manchester United. There are so many more better captains than him. Absolutely, 100 cents there are. And he needs to go ASAP. Uh, yep, yeah, to me, Harry Maguire just does not do it in this Manchester United team. He really doesn't. Right, let's get on to the player rating, shall we? Danke de Gea. Again. Someone, he didn't have a lot to do, but was called into action a couple of times. Did very well. And wan someone, you know, I thought he had a really good game in the right-back position today. Harry Maguire for dreadful. I mean, just, yeah, the pace is too slow. Martinez, I don't think he had the best of games either, so I'll give him a five. You know, almost gained the ball away once and almost allowed Everton to break away. So, yeah, not the best of games today with him for Martinez. Marashia, yeah, I'll give him a six. I thought he did a decent job. Scott McTominay, seven. Yeah, and that's a very good goal he scored. But I didn't think he was in goal too much. But I will give him a seven because he scored. Then in the midfield, it's a bit, uh, I'll give him a six. I thought he did a decent job. Sancho, six. Yeah, he did okay as well. Bruno, yeah, I'll give him a six. I mean, BT Sword gave him player of the match, which 
Okay, I can see why, but I'm not sure if I would have gave Bruno player in the match, so yeah, I'll give him a six. Half of the time I didn't really notice him on the pitch, to be honest. Bruno Fernandez. Marcus Rashford. I'll give him a seven. Yeah, I thought he was trying to make things happen, you know, score goals and that. Yeah, he's playing up front himself, which I found that very interesting, Marcus Rashford. But, yeah, I mean, it's such a shame, though, he went off injured. Like I said, the big worry for me now is if it's a groin injury, that's a massive blow. But, yeah, Eric Ten Hag and the team selection say, I'll get an 8 out of 10, I... All the lineup was decent, to be honest. Referee's performance, Mike Wallacher. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. I thought he had a decent game. So that's the player ratings done. Manager ratings. And referee's performance. Oh yeah, Sean Dyster's team selection. 8 out of 10. I thought he set up Everton very well. Comment you call down below. I will always reply... And join me for a preview somewhere next week for the Manchester United versus Seville game in the UEFA Europa League. As I said, a good win. We're back on track. Back to back wins. But to me, the main concerns now is Marcus Rashford. I really hope it's not too serious. Bye bye.